um, if you're using a dichotomous key, is to take uh, something that you don't know what it is and use the key to figure out exactly what it is or what group it falls under. If you're making a dichotomous key, you're trying to divide um, things, organisms or inanimate objects, into groups based off of their characteristics. And typically that's going to be their appearance, but it could also include their lifestyle if you know what their lifestyle is. Like if we're talking about an animal, um, how it reproduces, how it raises its young, things like that could all be used as a, as a key step uh, for the dichotomous key. All dichotomous keys are going to start with a large category or a large group of organisms and then narrow it down, um, kind of a stepwise process, to get to smaller and smaller um, groups of things. It's almost like a choose your own adventure. Um, if you have one characteristic, you go down one pathway. If you choose something else, you go down a different pathway. So it's kind of a, each step in the process is kind of a yes or no question or um, a very, uh, very clear step to go one way or the other as you're branching down this tree um, of questions to get kind of your end result. So let's do a practice dichotomous key. Um, when you're making one, you have to identify the similarities and the differences between the creatures you're placing in the key. So let's do a key um, going over these eight dragons. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a key. I'm going to kind of walk you through how I would do this, um, just my thought process with this. Um, but you can certainly, as long as you come to the correct end result, you can do this however you want. But this is kind of how I would work through making a dichotomous key based off of um, these eight dragons. But you could apply this to really any dichotomous key. So the first thing that I would look at um, is kind of how are these, how could we group these or divide these dragons into roughly two different categories, just something that is similar um, amongst them where half of them would have one set of characteristics and the other half would have the other set of characteristics. So to me, the most obvious thing um, would be the color of the dragon's body. Uh, so we've got green, not green, green, not green not green, not green, and then Havilland's green, and then Iggy's green. So I, I would say green body versus not green body is where I would start. Um, but certainly you could start with um, other things, um, like their wings or their horns or whatever is kind of a, an easy way to just immediately divide these this group into two separate groups. So let's start with um, green body. versus not green body. Okay, so doing this, um, the way I do this is I would then say, okay, let's see, so who's got the green body? And I would go ahead and kind of list out my organisms. So Adam has the green body, Carl has a green body, um, Haviland has a green body, and Iggy has a green body. And then the ones that do not have a green body would be Bubba, and Dudley, Finley, and Gully. Okay, so now we've got um, these eight dragons into at least two different categories. So that would kind of be our first step in our dichotomous key. Now let's look at the green bodies and um, kind of try to figure out how we can differentiate between Adam, Carl, Haviland, and Iggy. Okay, so looking at those dragons, Adam, Carl, Havilland, and Iggy, how are they similar and how are they different? Okay, so Adam, Carl, Havilland, and Iggy. Okay, the first thing that pops up to me would be the presence or absence of wings on their back. Um, Adam does not have any, at least that we can see in this picture, does not have any wings on his back. He does kind of have these fins on his head, but I wouldn't really consider those to be wings. Um, but Carl, Havilland, and Iggy, they all do have wings on their back. So let's say wings on back versus not winged. Okay, so if we're doing that, then the ones that have the wings on the back would be Carl, Havilland, and Iggy. And then not winged would be Adam. All right, so in just two steps, we've gotten down to Adam at least. 
because we've said, okay, if you're green, you're in one category. If you're not green, you're in the other. If you have wings, um, then you're in one category under this green. And then if you're not winged, you're in a separate category. And Adam's in a category by himself because he's green and does not have wings. Okay. Now looking at Carl, Haviland, and Iggy. Carl, Haviland, and Iggy. Um, how could we differentiate between these three dragons? Okay. Um, so let's see. Uh, what I would look at would be the belly. So Carl and Haviland both have a yellow belly. And then Iggy does not. He's solid colored. So that's how I would kind of differentiate between these three. So let's say we've got yellow belly versus solid belly. All right. Okay, so under the yellow belly, that's Carl and Haviland. And then the solid belly would be Iggy. Okay, so now we've used our dichotomous key that we're creating. We've gotten to Adam separately, we've gotten to Iggy separately, but we've got to figure out how to tell Haviland and Carl apart. Um, I, I don't know if you can see this or not because it's kind of subtle, but Haviland has speckles or spots on his body, and then Carl does not. Carl does not have any spots. So what I would say between these two would be um, spotted body versus not spotted. So let's, um, here, let me make this a little smaller so it all fit. Okay, so if we do spotted versus solid, then we've got Haviland has spots. And Carl is solid. Okay, so um, starting with green body and then gradually kind of narrowing it down, we've used or kind of created this key to tell the difference between um, Adam, Iggy, Haviland, and Carl. Okay, so now let's look at our not green bodies over on this side. So we had um, Bubba, Dudley, Finley, and Gully. And looking at them at Bubba, Finley, Gully, and Dudley, um, how could we tell them apart? Okay, so what I would do initially would probably be, I would do wings again, I think. So Bubba and Gully both have wings. Um, Dudley does not have wings. He's got these spikes, but those are not wings. And then Finley does not have wings either. He's got kind of a hump back. So I would do the winged versus not winged as my... Um, Next one for the not green body as well. So let's do that. Okay, so we've got wings on back versus not winged. And so the wings on back were Bubba and Gully. And then the not winged was Dudley and Finley, okay? And then we're trying to figure out the difference between Bubba and Gully and then Dudley and Finley. Um, so Bubba and Gully, Bubba and Gully. Um, I would probably look at the belly. So we've got a striped belly on Bubba. It's kind of orange and yellow striped. And then a solid belly on Gully. So let's say that we've got a striped belly. Oops, let me do it underlined. Versus solid belly. So the striped belly was Bubba versus the solid belly was Gully. Okay, so that got us between Bubba and Gully. Now I've got to differentiate between uh, Dudley and Finley. So Dudley's up here, Finley's down here. Um, so we could say, let's go with the spots again. So Dudley has spots and Finley does not. So we can do um, spotted versus not. Okay, 
or spotted versus solid, if you want to say it that way. Okay, so we've got Dudley was spotted and Finley was not spotted. Okay, so that's how I would make this key, is I would start with the color and then I'd go um, kind of down the line with each category um, until we got to where we could tell them all apart based off of these characteristics. Okay, so now let's put this into a key. So let me change this so we can kind of see both pages. Okay, and we'll do a page break here. Okay. So our first step, our step one in our dichotomous key um, was green body versus not green body. Okay, so let's start here. So green body versus not green body body. Now when you're making a key, um, one is your first differentiating step. So we're going to say if you have a green body, go to two, go to step two. Okay. Um, if you have a not green body, we'll deal with that just in a second. So green body step two. Our next category was wings on back versus not winged. So wings on back versus not winged. Um, if it was not winged, we knew immediately that that was Adam. Yay! If it was wings on back, we have more steps to go through. So let's say wings on back go to three. Okay. Well, our third thing was the yellow belly versus solid belly. So let's say yellow belly versus solid belly. All right. So uh, yellow belly is another step. Solid belly was Iggy. Okay, yellow belly, we're going to have to proceed to the next one. So let's say yellow belly go to four. And then question four was spotted or not. So spot, spotted or solid. If we knew they were, if they were spotted, we know that that's Haviland. If it was solid, we know that that's Carl. Okay, so that was kind of the first step with the green body. Okay, now let's go back up here because we had our, our 2B, which was not green body. And remember, there's um, some more categories we've got to go through if it's not green body. So not green body, let's take that down to 5 because that's our next available spot on this key. So we're going to say go to 5. Um, not green body was wings on back versus not winged. Okay, um, so neither of those have a, a specific animal. We have to keep going down the categories. So let's say wings on back go to six. Um, and then under six, wings on back, next one down was striped belly versus solid belly. So striped belly versus solid belly. And if we had a striped belly, we knew that was Bubba. And if we had a solid belly, we knew that was gully. Okay. Um, okay, so that was the wings on back. The not winged under 5B, remember we jumped down to spotted versus not spotted. So let's say not winged go to 7, because that's our next available spot. Um, so 7A would be spotted. 7B would be not spotted. And if it was spotted, we know that's Dudley. And if it was not spotted, we know that that is Finley. Okay, so we were able to differentiate between all of these different um, all of these different animals using basically a seven-step dichotomous key. So the first step was if it was a green body versus not green body, and then it just kind of went down from there. So hopefully that will help you as you are creating your dichotomous key to kind of see how I would go through that process. Um, that you'll see there are a lot of different ways you could have done this and still arrived at a key that works. So there's not exactly one specific way to do this, but as long as your key is consistent and you can use the key to work through all of the different um, animals, then it's fine. I mean, it's just any key can work as long as it's... Um, consistent and you can actually use it. So have someone double check your key for you and make sure they can use the key um, before you turn in the lab. That might be a good way to, to make sure you did it correctly.